everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all just how easy it is to make a tuna melt. This tuna melt is delicious. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And you know, make a Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my tuna melt before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. You wanna start off with some really good bread. So the bread that I'll be using today, it's made by Pepperidge Farm, and it's a white hearty bread. Okay, and this is gonna really be able to hold that heavy tuna salad. Okay, so we have that. We have some fresh celery, and we have a nice Vidalia onion. We also have some tuna here, and we have some cheddar cheese. We have sweet relish and we have two kinds of mayo. We have that amazing Duke's mayonnaise and we also have some Miracle Whip. Right here in our ramekin, we have a little bit of sugar, mustard, and you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need over this way. You're gonna need some garlic powder. You'll also need some pepper and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so one of the first things that we need to do is we wanna to put together some amazing tuna salad. So now, what I've done, two of my tuna salads are the kind that's in the oil. That's the kind I prefer, and the other one is in water, okay? So what I've done, you wanna make sure that when you open up your tuna, get all of that oil and all of the water out of your tuna. Okay, that's going to help you to get a really tasty tuna because you don't want it to be too wet. Okay, so now we're going to open them all. We've already drained them. Let's get them right here into this nice large bowl, just like so. And then we're going to chop some veggies. Okay, so now that we have our tuna in our bowl, let's go ahead and chop up some celery. Now listen here, when I make um, tuna melts, usually I don't use fresh celery in my tuna melt. We're gonna use it today. The reason why is because I don't have any celery seed. When I make uh, tuna melts, I like to use the celery seed instead of the celery, but we're gonna replace it with this today. If you have celery seed, I highly suggest that you use it in your tuna for your tuna melt. So now, what we're gonna do though, is we are going to chop this up very fine. No one wants to bite down into a huge raw piece of celery. So chop it up as fine as you can, just like so. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. All right, see how small? And then we'll double back again and chop it even finer than this. And really, we really don't have to use this other piece. I'm just gonna use this little bit. I do want the flavor, but not too much celery. You can ruin it that way. I'm gonna continue to chop this up. When I come back, we'll chop up those lovely onions. So now that we have our celery nice and chopped up fine, here's what we're gonna do to get it chopped up even finer. So we're just gonna take our knife and we wanna go through it just like so several times to get it even smaller. Just gather it just like so and it will be minced up very fine. And honestly, if you have a food processor, throw it in the food processor, you'll really get it nice and fine. Okay, so that's where I want it just like so, and then we're going to go into the onion. Now it's up to your discretion how you want your onion cut. I'm gonna do my onion pretty fine as well. Okay, so let's get to it. All right, I'm so excited for this recipe. It's been a while since we had tuna melts and I can't wait. All right, so we're just gonna open this onion up in hopes that I don't go crying. I did put the onion in the freezer for a little bit, and I don't want too much, once again. This right here is gonna do the trick. It's gonna give me that great flavor that I'm looking for. Okay, we're gonna come across this way. That's gonna to help to give us a very small dice, just like so. Now, 
one thing that's really interesting about this tuna salad that we'll be making today is you all that know me and are familiar with me, you know when I make my tuna salad, I love to put boiled eggs in it. But when I have the tuna salad for the tuna milk, we're not gonna use boiled eggs. It just wouldn't taste right. So what we're gonna do, any leftover tuna salad today, we can add the boiled eggs in it, but not for the sandwich, okay? So we won't be adding boiled eggs for this tuna right now. Okay, everyone, you can see that my eyes are watering. Let's get these onions into this bowl. I need to go on a break and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, everyone, now that we have the tears under control, let's mix up our tuna salad. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some sweet relish into our tuna salad. And you see where I'm pushing it on the side? I'm pushing away some of that liquid because we don't want anything to make this extra liquidy, okay? That's why we made sure when we opened the tuna that we drained it very well, okay? But we want that little bit of sweetness that the sweet relish gives, okay? And we're gonna season. Garlic powder is a must when you make tuna salad. You can even put onion powder if you like. We're gonna go in with some pepper just like so. Don't be afraid to season. And we're gonna use a little bit of salt, okay? If your loved ones want more salt, of course they can put more in. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna go in with mustard. Just a little bit is needed, but you need that mustard for sure. Okay, and now, time for the mayonnaise. When I make tuna, I love the Miracle Whip mixed with the Duke's mayonnaise. It's perfect combination, all right? Always start off with a little bit because if you put too much in, you can't take away from. But if you start off with a little bit, you can always add two. So now we're gonna mix it and then we're gonna taste it. Okay, we're gonna taste to see if we need any more seasonings or any more mayonnaise, you know. And then we're also gonna taste it to see if we need that little pinch of sugar. I don't always use the sugar, but if it needs it, I'll put just a pinch in. Okay, we're gonna get this well combined. It smells so good. I, I, li I live for this sound. Listen to this, guys. Now that we have everything combined, let's go ahead and taste it, see if we need anything else. Okay, come on. I can't wait. All right. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm. But it does need a little bit more seasoning. We're gonna go in, black pepper, a little bit more. I feel like I need some more garlic and really just a little bit of salt. Okay, not too much. That'll do the trick. And then I do want that pinch of sugar, just a little tiny bit, okay? Now we're gonna mix this and when I come back, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do interesting to the bread so we can get a beautiful golden brown crispiness to our bread. Okay, everyone, now we're gonna assemble our sandwich. Now, any kind of cheese that you love, that's the cheese you're gonna use. I'm gonna use some uh, Velveeta Sharp Cheddar today because I love cheddar on my tuna melts. Okay, so now, you could use a pumpernickel bread. Like I said, just make sure you use a good quality bread. Okay, so, what we're gonna do, we're gonna butter our bread, but we're gonna, here's where everything gets kind of interesting. We're not gonna use any butter. We're gonna use mayonnaise to butter our bread. It's really interesting. It gives you a beautiful golden brown color and it tastes good. Is it gonna taste like mayonnaise? No, it's not. Don't think that for one second. Just trust me. Trust me on this one. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get our top piece nice and buttered. Don't get too crazy with the mayonnaise. You know, spread it out. Don't use too much, but don't use a little tiny bit either. All right, just like so. All right, just a nice thin layer. All right, those of you that, you know, you just love cheese, put your three pieces of cheese on. All right. Wouldn't be called a tuna melt if you didn't put that cheese on and let it get nice, hot, and melty. Okay, so this will be the top piece. I'm gonna turn my burner on so this pan can get nice and hot. Okay, and now let's assemble our sandwich. I couldn't be more excited. All right, put this next to me. Take you some tuna. And you see how it's not really, really wet? That's what you want. 
Don't make really, really wet tuna salad, guys. It's disgusting. All right, just like this. Make it nice and thick, about this thick on your sandwich, okay? I don't know if you all saw that, but you're gonna see it right here. Just like that. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. And then we're gonna put the cheese on. Woo, my mouth is salivating. Two pieces for me. How about you guys? Put Swiss on there, put Pepper Jack on there. Any kind of cheese that you love, that's what you're gonna use. All right, we're gonna go in for the second sandwich. Oh yeah, we're gonna make two of them because one is just not gonna be enough. All right, oh, uh-huh, just like this. Okay, everyone, so now it's time to put our cheese onto our second sandwich, just like this. You know, I'm really tempted to put another piece of cheese on. I really am. Am I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. Go on, Gina. All right, but here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna put a whole piece on, okay? We'll just do it this way. All right, check me out. We're just gonna break this one in half. All right, throw that extra piece on. Get some more cheese on there. All right, so we're gonna put our buttered side this way. This is the side that's gonna hit the pan first. Make sure your pan is nice and hot. My pan is hot. And then once we get this and flip it into the pan, we'll butter this other side just like so. Pretty simple, just like this. Oh yeah. You wanna see and hear the sizzle? If you don't, don't put another one in. All right, oh yeah. And now we're going to butter this side just like so. And once these get nice, beautiful, and golden brown, we'll flip them over. Okay, everyone, we got some beautiful golden brown color. Flip them over, oh, look at that. That's what you wanna see. That gorgeous color, look at it, my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna let that other side get nice and beautiful and golden brown. When I come back, I'm gonna say an amazing prayer, and you all are gonna get that first bite. Okay, everyone, I believe we have some nice, beautiful golden brown color. Oh, yeah. See, that's the color that I love when I think of a grilled sandwich. See that? Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take it out and set it right here onto this board. And we're gonna cut it here in about two, three minutes. I wanna wait a second because if we cut it right now, our cheese is gonna go splat and come flowing out. We don't want that to happen. Okay, everyone, I'm so excited. It's time to cut down into this tuna melt so you all can see the inside. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer and you all are gonna get to try the first bite. Come on. All right, how am I gonna cut it? Am I gonna go this way? Am I gonna go that way? We're gonna go this way. Oh, listen to the crunch. Oh, and it's nice and buttery. Crispy on the outside, it's gonna be soft and cheesy. Oh man, listen here, and we really seasoned that tuna salad so you're gonna have amazing flavor. Take a look at the inside. This is what you call a tuna melt. Oh, don't make it any other way. Make it Gina Young style. Let's look at this one. <laughs> oh, hold on, guys. <laughs> Woo! All right, cut. Listen, listen to it. It's beautiful. We haven't even tried it yet. Oh, <laughs> daggone it. You better make me some Gina Young style. Look at this. Look at that cheesy goodness. Be right back. Cheesy tuna melt, Gina Young style. Make yourself. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this hair video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Quick prayer and then we're gonna taste. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for another beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. 
We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Okay, everyone, anytime I have some type of grilled sandwich, I always have to have some pickles. These are not sweet pickles, they are sour. And so what I like to do, we're gonna take a bite of the pickle, just like so. Mm -hmm. mm. And then we're gonna take a bite. Let me know what you think. I'm going in. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. First of all, the way we seasoned, <laughs> mm. the way we season this tuna salad is magnificent. The flavor is so great, crispy, crispy bread. And using the mayonnaise gives it a totally different flavor. And using that sharp cheese is amazing. Let's go in for one more bite. Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Hmm. Mm. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Man, that's a good sandwich.